Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. Today I'm painting a creepy crawly that most people might be scared of, a spider. I love spiders. I love them so much I even tattoo a spider on my arm. I think they are brilliant creatures and so beautiful, especially their eyes. I'm gonna have fun painting its eyes today. I did my sketch directly on the canvas, sprayed it with fixative and applied a layer of light grey onto it. Usually I first paint the subject with a rough colour layer. When I started painting this, it looked good the way it is, so I only just needed this one layer. After which I'll add on the tiny hairs. In this reference photo, there's only a small part of the spider is in focus. That is the part that's parallel with the eyes. The front legs are slightly blurred and the hind legs are out of focus. So I made sure I took note of this when painting this spider. Halfway through, I painted half of the background so I can blend the hind leg slightly with it to make it look blur and seem like out of focus. To do this, always use a clean dry brush to brush on where the two colors meet. When blending like this, I always make sure I apply the paint thinly, otherwise it'll be quite messy and won't have this blurred effect. In the photo, the spider's eyes have some ghostly green color, just a tiny bit. I find that this bit is the most important point in this painting and I made sure I capture this into the painting. It made the photo look so much more interesting. There's not so much detail on the sternum as it'll all be covered with hair later on. So I just had to put in some black and dark brown. I made a mistake here. The ground beneath the spider I should not have painted first. I should green in directly with dark grey. Now that I have painted it light grey, it was a bit difficult for me to make it as dark as I wanted it to be. I also should have painted the ground first before painting the legs. This was the second day, most of the spiders were done. Today I was just going to add in all the hair. I find that with the same amount of liquid in the paint, the paint would have been completely dried the next day if it's painted on wood. But here on the canvas, the area beneath the spider was still a bit wet. Actually the rest of the background was not completely dry either. I would draw in some fine hair on the spider and very very lightly brush it with a dry brush. 
this is to make it not appearing so sharp in other words slightly out of focus this has to be the finest hair I've ever done on a canvas I thought I couldn't have done it that's why recently I've been painted on wood as wood has such a smooth surface it's very easy to paint fine lines on smoother surface I have learned a lot by painting this spider and I really enjoyed the whole painting process finding out things that I thought I couldn't do on a canvas but I did I hope you enjoy this video as much as I did too please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye